Hello there, everybody, on a, a beautiful Saturday afternoon. We, you know, a, a Saturday in Clearwater. That's what we all want, don't we? But look down there, right? There's nobody else in Clearwater. And look down the other way, down this street, right? Clearwater Beach is pretty much a ghost town right now, and all these places around me are not open. Some of them have taken this precaution. You see this restaurant here, they've boarded up. Some people, several places around town have done that, but especially here on Clearwater. We were in Tampa a little earlier. They're expecting a big storm surge because Hurricane Irma is on the way, and people woke up to a, a new reality this morning. Of course, they woke up and saw that all the tracks, uh, all the, the, the models are showing that the storm is now making a beeline directly for Tampa. So it kind of changed things where people were just anxious here, wondering what they were going to get. Now it's possible they could get the brunt of it. So again, we're in Clearwater Beach. This is a, this is a Saturday, folks. Everybody's supposed to be here hanging, and please forgive me, and you shouldn't walk across the street like this, I understand, but there's pretty much no traffic on the street. Yeah, go ahead and show them a look uh, down there. Take a look down that way as well. There's nobody out here, and there's reason for it. Now, this is the Opal Sands Resort. This hotel is open for now. A lot of the hotels have gotten the okay to make their own decisions about whether or not they're going to stay. Uh, open or not because people are in the hotels they don't have anywhere else to go and some of these larger structures that's the better option than to go find a shelter maybe or stay with a friend in a house and take a chance there so where i am right now clearwater clearwater beach this island essentially they are under a mandatory evacuation but some of the hotels are being given some some leeway and they're able to stay open so people could stay so before I let you go. I do want to at least show you the beach, not just because it's beautiful, because it's a scene also that you probably haven't seen before in Clearwater. Now, my, my producer here, Patrick, you can't keep up, man. What's the deal? Yeah, can you keep up, man? Come on, we're going to the beach. Um, <laughs> so, beautiful. Before I get on the beach, I always have, y'all give me a stop. I'm going to do my Mr. Rogers thing for a second, all right? But before I get on the beach, I got to get my shoes off. But this is not something you're used to seeing at Clearwater Beach. Now, this area on a Saturday, for anybody who's been here, especially around this time of year, you expect this place to be bustling. You expect it to be littered with kids and with uh, folks trying to, of course, <laughs> uh, get sun-kissed a little bit. But I want you to come out here, and it's as beautiful as, as ever, right? Out looking at the Gulf. But take a look. I was here a second ago. I, I see one person. <laughs> There's one guy down here, he's with somebody, he's tossing around a football, but that's it. That's Clearwater Beach. This is not the way it's supposed to be on a 90 degree Saturday uh, in September, but everybody has heeded the warnings and pretty much got the heck out of here because where we are, this is, as you can imagine, certainly one of the, the lower lying areas, but the storm surge here is expected to be anywhere from five to eight feet and possibly even more. That means where I am right now, what you're seeing, might not be here in 48 hours. You might not be able to come down here and stand like I am right now. And people have heeded those warnings and got the heck out of here. Now, they weren't even here a few minutes ago, but look at that beach, folks. <laughs> Take a look at that. This should be littered, absolutely littered with people on a day like today. But there's a mandatory evacuation uh, where we are right now. These folks probably live here to get onto this island uh, today to get to Clearwater Beach. You actually had to show your pass essentially for people who act to live uh, out here, nobody else is really allowed to be here. We are just because of press. We don't plan on staying, but you aren't allowed to be out here. So we will assume that these folks um, probably do live out here or were able to get through some kind of way. But this is not a place that people necessarily want to be, even though it's beautiful. Maybe I'll take in some sun and, and enjoy the beach and call it a private beach for the day. But I better get the heck out of here myself in a little while. How you doing, ma'am? Now, how, why are you out here on the beach today? Just enjoying it because nobody else is out here. We're You're staying. Where are you from? Okay, but you had to get somewhere. I'm sorry, I'm TJ Holmes with Good Morning America. We have our live stream going on. I'm just wondering what the folks who are out here, what they're doing out here. You you came here to get away from your home in case it was going to flood or something? Well, my boyfriend works here, so. Works at this? Yeah. Okay, so you got a good place to crash yeah. and to be safe. Are you, are you, did you get nervous when you woke up today and they said it's coming directly for Tampa instead? Of course. Of, yeah. This is my first hurricane. Oh. I moved here a year and a half ago. From where? No. <laughs> no. Okay. From New Mexico. Oh, so hurricanes are not your thing. All right. Well, good luck to you guys. All right. Y'all take care. <laughs> Y'all take care. So uh, you, you hear there some folks have different reasons for being out here. Some people are, again, woke up to a new reality today when we heard that the storm track had changed, moved a little west, and is now making a bee, literally all the models. You put all those lines kind of together, and they're making a beeline right up towards, uh, towards Tampa, right where we are, and the storm surge is on the way. So beautiful now. 
uh, in we got to about 30, 30 plus hours, uh, things are going to start looking a lot different. And certainly by early Monday morning, uh, we are going to be in the brunt of that storm. So for now, folks, uh, maybe I'll take in some sun because this might be the last we get of it uh, for a couple of days. I'll talk to you again soon. TJ Holmes here in Clearwater. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.